Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woken. I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, I decided to do a little experimenting. I decided instead of including the spiral info for Galaluca with the brand new units, I'm gonna make a separate video on it in case there are people who are really only interested in Galaluca and nothing else. Um, so this video is gonna be much shorter than usual. So if you end up preferring him to be attached to something else or for him to have his own separate video, uh, let me know because the feedback would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I have, for my channel wise, I'm pretty sure it's better to include them in the back end of everything else, but if it's more convenient for everyone to do it this way, I'm gonna do it this way, so let's do it. Um, so Shining Slash, this is Gal Luca, by the way, he's an already good unit getting another spiral, so <laughs> expectations are low. Shining Slash, Shareable 6, deals damage to enemies in a line. Both the skills, critical rate, and the critical rate of attack skills in Dragon Form will be increased by 10% for each buff, with different icons applied to the user. Damage is 507 over 4 hits. Skill energy required is 2870. Um, and if it's a shared skill, it's 11,193. It looks like the only change here is that he does more damage. Brilliant Booster greatly increases the modifiers applied to the user's critical damage and grants the user a strength amp. After this amp is granted, the skill will grant it again for 30 seconds, will not grant it again for 30 seconds. Skill energy required 3,899, special effect is critical damage is 80% and lasts 10 seconds, and the strength amp is there. So he already had the crit damage up, I think the amp is the only new thing. Uh, let me see about that skill energy required though. I think it's up here somewhere. 3,899. 3,899, yeah, the same same cost of everything it looks like. Good! Uh, <laughs> the only real change they added to this move was the amp. <laughs> so strength 10% is his co-op ability. Chain of co-op ability is laid up of 10 hits equals shadow resistance 10%. Abilities connecting call 3 increases Luca's critical rate by 4% for every buff with a different icon applied to him, up to 28%. In addition, applies one of the following buffs to Luca every time one of his attacks is a critical hit. Sylvan Secret Arts, Human Wisdom, and Rockin' Ex Expertise. Each of these buffs increases Luca's critical rate by 4% for 20 seconds. Only one instance of each buff can be active at the same time. After activating this ability, I'm going to activate again for 3 seconds. Um, Unforgettable Promise 2 reduces susceptibility to curses and poison. Wow, he got... That's a new one. Curses and poison by 100% when the user is hit by an attack that would uh, cause either of them the same stuff as always. Increases crit rate by 15%. Um, so previously, the skill only did curses, and there was no mention of poison at all. He was one of the very few Gala units that doesn't actually have um, two-way susceptibility to the main um, to their main classes kind of things that they always deal with. So a lot of fights with light obviously use curse and poison. The only other Gala unit that I think that's kind of like him is Gala Mim because Gala Mim. Uh, is in sleep resistance, which is the one thing if they give her, like, I hope this means that Galamim is getting sleep resistance because she has burn resistance and she has um, stun resistance and burn resistance in fire is maybe, when you're fighting wind units, is maybe the most useless <laughs> thing ever. You're very rarely fighting fire units with Mim unless you're fighting Brunhilde, which is just Mim again. Um, so good, this is a pretty good buff, and critical rate 13% increases critical rate by 13%. It's no longer tied to combo stuff. Uh, okay. Um, pretty... I mean, Galaluca was already good. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. So it seems like they made just kind of tiny tweaks here and there. I wasn't 100, I've never... So here's my thing, I don't do, like, end game content at all. Um, because I think light end game content kind of is bad. Um, if you want my case in point, look at the way Tartarus is designed. No, no further explanation needed. So anytime anything requires light units, I'm not sure how he's affected and stuff like Nihility. So, because I'm pretty sure you have to meet, beat him, you have to reach that level with him to, with light units to get there, and I can't survive long enough with any light unit, because I just don't use them. Um, 
So I'm not sure how nihility proof is he. I assume he got completely gutted, but at the same time, it's so hit and miss with some characters, it's hard to actually know. Uh, they should really add something to let you know what is and what isn't. Just uh, gonna be asking for that every single time I talk about nihility. Um, but yeah, he was already a really good, strong unit, and probably for some of those other fights, he's going to remain a very good and strong unit. I hope this makes him strong enough that it makes Tartarus ten times easier. I know it's a fool's errand to ask that, but that's the only thing I really want from a light unit. I don't even want a light unit that can take down Nihility content, I just want a light unit that makes the Tartarus grind two minutes long, and it's actually a light unit, not cheese. <laughs> that's my only wish. Um, yeah, good spiral, very basic, but you know, he was already good. So that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, everyone, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace out.